Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello my name is Rebecca and I hope you're having a great fantastic day. Now in today's video I'm going to be testing the Makeup Obsession Exhale Palette. This is another one of the items I got in the sale. I think I paid three pounds for this out of five pounds so extremely affordable under a fiver and you get a complete eyeshadow palette so that is so cool so i'm gonna chuck this on my face and let you guys know my honest thoughts about this palette so if you guys are gonna enjoy this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up please don't forget to subscribe and turn that little notification bell so you get notified by Every single makeup video I do here on this channel. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you want to. Link is in the description bar below. So if you guys want to know my thoughts on the Makeup Obsession Exhale Palette, just keep watching. Okay guys, let's play around with the Makeup Obsession Exhale Palette. Now, first of all, this palette's adorable. Look how small it is. This is a comparison. It's the size of the palm of my hand. This palette is tiny this is so small so this is what the packaging looks like it's got a beautiful like half butterfly on it so it's really pretty and these are what the shades look like so you have one two three four five six mattes and you have three shimmers well this looks like one of those um putty consistencies this this eyeshadow here looks like one of those cream putty eyeshadows and then the two shimmers are there but I mean compare this to my finger look how small the pans are this is adorable it's so cute and this is the box as well so the box is pretty much exactly the same as the packaging it's got the ingredients on the back of it just the same as the palette now on the revolution website I got this palette for three pounds instead of five pounds it's just adorable oh and it's got a little mirror in it as well so it's really really cute i just can't get over how tiny this is so what i'm going to do is prime my lid i'm going to create an eye look with this palette and then i'll let you guys know my thoughts about this palette at the end Okay guys, this is my second attempt of doing the eye look. I will explain in a minute why I had to redo the look again. Okay guys, I've done the rest of my face makeup, so the eyeshadow palette. Ooh, I'm sorry to say this, but this palette is not my favorite. It really isn't. As much as how adorable this palette is, it's really small, tiny. I mean, it's great for travel, it does come with a mirror, I respect that. These eyeshadows are not very functional because this colour, I have to dip my finger right in just to apply on the lid because with a brush, this eyeshadow does not work at all. You will get nothing. So, because my finger's a little bit too big, I had to proper like rub in there, get in there, just so you guys can see anything on my lid, to be honest with you. Um, beautiful colour, but just can't quite get to it. So that's a bit of a shame. Uh, what is as well? The purple colour, so the shimmery colour, which is weightless and ringlet or ringlet. I'm sorry, I'll put that name on screen because I can't pronounce it. This one here, not good purples, like they are both so patchy, uneven. When I put this colour on the outer bit there, it went really patchy, just so patchy. And I thought, well, maybe the darker purple might just might help to bring a bit of the purple out again, add something to blend with. No, that was just pretty much the same thing. So yeah, the purples, 
in here are not great. They're not good at all. That green colour, the same as Ringlet and um, Apollo, which is that blue colour, they are so powdery. The powder goes everywhere. It's all over my desk. It's everywhere, the powder. It's... I can't tell you how much powder there is on my desk. <laughs> There's so much powder. I cannot believe how powdery these are. So powdery. But this shade Monarch, I'll bring it... Uh, Monarch or something. Mon... Monarch? Monarch? I think that's the right word. I'll pop it on screen just in case I'm pronouncing it incorrectly. But I'll bring this closer so you guys can see. I don't know where you guys are going to see, but if I tilt it this way... It looks like I'm nearly about to hit pan. Can you see how deep I've gone into that eyeshadow? It looks like I've nearly used all of it up, but I haven't. I've only dipped into that eyeshadow probably like three times and not very heavy at all. But you can see that if I dip into that maybe three more times, I've hit pan on the eyeshadow instantly like that. Because it's so powdery, I'm just going to go through it really quickly. And I find it's not particularly... It is pigmented, but once you blend it, it's gone. It's gone. Never to be seen again. So it's a good job the concealer I used was sort of like a white base. I think it was the... What concealer does? The Revolution Conceal and Hydrate. And this was a pale shade. It's in the shade C1, so it's very pale. So luckily I used that, or I was, you wouldn't see anything on my lid at all. Um, the other colour, Emperor, the yellow colour here, this yellow one. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry guys, I'm so sorry. I know, I know companies take a long time producing and making these kind of things and I feel bad, feel like I'm bashing or being negative. This is just my own personal opinion. Someone else probably might use this palette and might get a better result than me, but that yellow eyeshadow is not good. It's not good, it doesn't blend, it just about blends in with that green, but it's still the same situation. It's so powdery, it's so, so powdery. I would say, I'll give it credit for one thing, it is slightly more pigmented than the green colour. I will give it a benefit of the doubt for that. It is a lot more pigmented than the green colour so that colour I might be able to just about get away with um, but it kind of looks like it's just all one colour on my lid to be honest with you and Apollo the blue colour same situation extremely powdery I feel like it blended the colour I've got on my wing just fine the colour that's actually on my wing is Gatekeeper and Gatekeeper is pretty much the best colour out of this whole palette, I'm not gonna lie, Gatekeeper applied the best. It's pigmented, it applied really nicely, that colour is the best, that's what saved this eye look, was that colour. And with Apollo blended with it, I think it has worked really well, but I know it, I get a funny feeling if I'm gonna use that colour, it's gonna be that same powdery, pit, patchy situation like the purple colour. I haven't used the orange in the uh, pinky colour so I might want to try those two. I'm not a makeup artist, I'm not an expert, I've just done, I've just tried to create a look as best as I can. I had to take that old eye look and start again. Um, but there are some other great eyeshadow palettes that Revolution creates, there are some fantastic other ones they create. I've got so many in the drawer which I would highly recommend to anyone. Um, I have ordered the Coraline palette, which I'm very excited to try, so stay tuned for that one. I'm very excited. I've heard that's got some fantastic reviews. Treehouse of Horror eyeshadow palette that I've got. I've got the Bart one, so this is the face palette. This is the one I'm wearing right now. Uh, this is fantastic, and the Bart eyeshadow palette I've got is absolutely fantastic. That, that palette is brilliant. Or the Soph palette is excellent, highly recommend that one. So they do some other great, fantastic palettes. I'm afraid, just not this one. I'm really sorry. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video today. If you have, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn that notification bell so you get notified by every single makeup video I do here on this channel. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you want to. Link is in the description bar below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day, stay safe, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys, take care.